Hello RVers, this is Jeff at M60 RV in Jones, Michigan. Again, there's M60 and here's the RVs. Try to keep it simple. So this is a new unit we've got. It is a 2024 Thor Indigo CC35. It is a dealer demo, so it's technically pre-owned, but it's like new. And you'll see that when we show it to you a little bit. All right, so this is the Silver Mine full body paint. We've got 22 and a half inch uh, wheels, Michelin tires. It's on the F53 chassis with 350 horsepower, 468 foot pounds of torque, plenty of power to get you up and down the mountains and see the beautiful things out here in this great country of ours, as the RV Whisperer always says. So if we start up here, you've got a fisheye lens here, regular mirror. This is controllable from inside. You do have um, side view cameras that shows you down the, down the length of the coach to, to clear that blind spot. This will also help clear the blind spot. This a, they call it the doggy window, but it was originally put here to clear the blind spot before they started putting these in. And they just kept it because people like it and the dogs like it. And we like to keep our pets happy. So, got some uh, storage here, kind of barn door storage. And that is pass-through. It's not terribly tall, but it does go through all the way through. Slam latch baggage doors. Some more of that with the Rotocast plastic. So the rodents can't get through. It's tough and it waterproof. And there is a kazoo valve right here. So this can get all wet inside there and the water will go out but won't come in. It's a one-way valve. There's another storage compartment with the lights inside. And right here we have our outside entertainment. With pistons on here to keep it from hitting you in the head. Television out here with, a, with speakers in the TV. And that does lock. You got power outside. So as you're plugged into your campsite, you don't have to run a cord over here to, to power your toys or lights or whatever it is you're doing. It comes right straight through there. A little more. Also pass through. This is a quick connect for LP, so you can set up a gas grill and just hook up right there. Runs off your unit's LP tank. Lots of storage in this unit. That passes part way through. Rear ladder, 250 pound weight limit on that. Got LED tail lights. You got your backup camera right there. Again, more frameless windows. This is your exit, your emergency exit, so that does come out. All right, let's show them the roof. Just extend that as far as it'll go, and then hold it all the way up. All right, so let's walk around here. You can see this does have some solar panels on it. You've got covers over your vents. You've got your two air conditioners. Get your roof material. All right, come on back down. Back to earth. Okay, let's come back over here. Back here in the back, you've got your gravity fill for your water tank. This is where you put in your unleaded fuel. This is a gas coach. 5,500. Onan gas power generator runs off of your gas tank and will shut off when you get to, they say a quarter, but really an eighth. It'll stop running so you, you, so you can go somewhere and get fuel. You got uh, TV input if your campsite offers cable or whatever they're going to offer with this coax, that'll run into your televisions. Here's your Furion cord, it goes in here. 
for your 50 amp cape, uh, 50 amp electrical service that will light up when you have power coming in so you know if you're not getting power inside you got power here something else is going on or if that's not lit up you're not getting power from the campground this is a suburban on-demand water heater so it's tankless and isn't it cool i don't know what to say about that but it's nice to just have as much hot water as you want. Infinite hot water. Infinite hot water. This is the back of your furnace. So don't put things in front of that. This is, this has been a couple places. It's got 5,800, uh, 5,200, I forget. 5,000-ish miles on it. Uh, so it's been a couple places as a dealer demo. But here's the power cord you snap onto that. Oh, and your freshwater dump. Look how big that is. That'll dump it quick, real quick. All right, so here is our water bay and our dump station. There's a porthole right here. You can run your hose up through here, hook it onto this, and then this will pivot to make it all run out correctly. You got your black tank flush or your black tank valve and your gray tank. Your black tank is from your toilets. Your gray tank is from your sink and your shower. Pull the black first, let that drain out, pull the gray, and that'll rinse it out. You also have a black tank flush, so you can hook up a hose to this. When you're dumping your black tank, it'll, it'll, uh, it has little sprayers in there that will clean out any solid stuff and make sure that you are reading correctly uh, and when you test your tanks. This is the input for your city water. If the campground is giving you pressurized water, then you don't have to turn on your water pump and you can run off of their pressure. We do recommend a check valve. It's a little brass job about this much, that long. And if the pressure gets too high, it has a physical valve that shuts off to keep it from bursting pipes inside because you're gonna go a lot of different places and you don't know what kind of water pressure they have but you can run off their water pressure. If you put it into the gravity fill, you're gonna run off your own pressure from the water pump. Okay, and then you do have an outside shower here, hot and cold. It's your battery compartment. There's room for more batteries if you want to do that. But this is your chassis batteries or your house batteries. This is an extension of this compartment. It goes further. Here's your LP tank. This will run your stove, your furnace, your water heater, and your outside grill if you hook that up. It's, I think it's 40 pounds. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a big tank. <laughs> it's a big tank. You'll be amply supplied. Okay. And here's your other mirror with your other backup camera, side view camera. You can see on the front, we have a front cap, a molded front cap with a one-piece window. It does have a diamond shield uh, protection on there to keep... I don't know if you can see that. It's invisible. It shows the paint. And up here is access to your things like windshield wiper fluid and things like that. Just take a step back, look how pretty this thing is in the sun on a beautiful winter day in Jones, Michigan. We're just down the road from the Swiss Valley Ski Lodge. You could ski and then come here and buy one. All right, let's go in. Do you have a screen door with a little plastic slider across there? Your step automatically comes out. You've got a little storage right here for maybe, I don't know, muddy shoes. Whatever you want. That's the thing. You're free to put whatever you want in there. You do have some controls here for your awning. Okay. So we've got our awning out. Of course, this unit does have two slides, 
and both of them have slide toppers that go out automatically to keep debris from getting in behind the fascia so you don't have to go up on the roof and sweep it off to pull your slides in because of sticks and leaves and forest creatures that might find their way up there okay Imagine sitting here watching the world go around in the most beautiful places in the world. Not too bad. All right, well, let's go in. All right, so here we are inside the Indigo CC35. And I'll show you the cockpit here. You got uh, front shade, automatic. Also doubles as your sunshade when you're driving. It'll only come down so far when the ignition is on. You have curtains on the side. You can see here your leveling jacks. Mirror heat. Uh, your mirrors are adjustable. Very convenient. Fog lights. Emergency start. That ties your house battery and your chassis battery together so that you can jump the chassis or get the generator started. The house battery if you leave something on. So let me just start it up for you. Right here, you can see 5,850 miles because this was a dealer demo now available for sale. If you look over here, turn your turn signal on, and you can see down that side of the coach. I'm going to turn it right, it even says right and left in the corner. Let me turn this down. There we go. All right. This is also your backup camera and is touchscreen enabled to the home. Oh, there's the back. Very nice. Go to home. All right, so we've got Sirius XM available, regular terrestrial radio. That's fun to say. Uh, you can do that and have it watching the back when you're driving. It's very cool. Bluetooth for your phone. A little equalizer and then settings. So pretty cool, nice and big, in a good spot. Let's go to FM. There's the radio, and here's your volume control. I like to have a physical volume knob myself, but I'm a senior citizen. All right, I just want to show you how this looks when you're driving. Put the slides in. You can see the Schwintech system. They have two bars on the top, and they have a bar on the bottom. You have motors inside the wall that actuate this. And <clears throat> this side is full wall, if you can see that. You can see your bulb seals there. Wipe seals, bulb seals on both sides. And again, in order to function properly, this slide needs to be all the way out or all the way in to not leak. A little word to the wise. You can see you can get to everything. You can sit here. You can sit at your dinette. You could conceivably cook. You still have access to a television. This one is not accessible when you're parked. You can get to your control panel and all the way back to the bathroom, all the way back to the bedroom. So it's very convenient. Now I'll put the slides out. Okay, we've opened up the slide rooms. As you can see, as I turn around here, really opens things up. Got our, uh, got our theater seats with the good view of the television here. And if, and then another, if you have someone sitting at the dinette, they have another television so they can, they don't have to crane their necks. So the sofa becomes a bed, the dinette becomes a bed. You can see we've got the fireplace running. You can set that for different, several different colors. Here. I like the blue. Of course, I'm colorblind. That could be purple. The theater, theater seats do recline. You have a nice spot for your remotes right there. Solid surface countertops. 
pull out sprayer on the uh, sink. Dual bowls, same size, with solid surface covers. Roller shades throughout the coach, with the exception of the curtains on the side in the cockpit. Baymont cabinetry. All adjustable metal racks in there, metal uh, brackets. So you can set, set it to the depth that you want. Nice big convection microwave. Three burner cooktop. See this beautiful backsplash here? It's all handmade. You got an oven. And pretty cool thing when you turn on a burner, it turns colors. So you can see visually from across the room that it's on. And right here, let me set you there for a sec. Imagine you can see that. This is our Rapid Camp computer system. Let me bring you in a little closer. Here's home. You get lighting, electrical, climate, fans, diagnostics, your tank levels, and then you can go back to the coach here. So this will control your slides, your awning, your two awnings. Got one over the door. And this is a neat thing. You got master lights on and off, and you can create scenes. Scene one, two, and three. So if you have different lighting, um, like you just you get your lights set. Hey, this is just right. You can make it into a scene, and then you go to your scenes and you just poop. I want this scene. I don't know that they have any. Okay, so those just need set up. You can control individually the lights. Oop, that was the hall. And you can set it with a, a little slider. You can dim the lights. I just dim the bedroom. It's all right. We are in the bath. There's one bath in this coach. You got the Porcelain toilet with a foot flush. Beautiful cabinetry in here. Not solid surface in the, uh, the bathroom. And the shower has a solid door. With this simulated, with this pretty surround material. And this does come with the shower miser. So when you turn your water on and you divert the divert the water it recirculates through the water tank the water heater and the fresh tank so you can get your water to the right temperature and then you can release the water after this turns white it starts to change colors and you know it's hot so that saves you a lot of that saves you a lot of uh, hassle because you don't want to fill up your gray tank with just water because you're trying to get it to the right temperature. And here we have a contour professional contour. See nice big freezer area. Very deep lock travel lock. You've got a spot for a washer and dryer. Right now it's just a closet. You have hanging space and again, your adjustable brackets in there. And here we are in the bedroom. This is uh, to your left here is the full, the end of the full wall slide. And you got your big closet, your television with storage behind it. It opens up. 
So you got storage behind there. Pocket doors. Just another view here. Back up to the cockpit. I didn't do this yet. Here's the bunk. Just one push and it comes down. For anyone that wants to sleep up there or kids or whatever. You have the netting so that nothing or no one falls onto the dash. And then this is where your ladder hooks on. It's nice and quiet. Quiet and steady. So again, this is the 2024 Thor Indigo CC35. It's a 37 foot gas powered motorhome. It is on the F53 chassis. It's a 22,000 pound chassis. It's got the V8 Godzilla engine with 350 horsepower, 468 foot pounds of torque. Plenty of power to get you up and down the mountains and get you where you want to go to go RVing beautiful places. It has the silver mine full body paint, Baymont cabinetry, and the Bel Air interior decor colors on the valances and whatnot. 50 gallons of fresh, 40 of gray, 40 of black. Again, this is a dealer demo. It is technically a pre-owned coach, but it's new at the same time. We're selling it as a pre-owned coach, but it is a new coach. And MSRP on this unit is $235,643. But you can get this coach at M60RV in Jones, Michigan for $149,995. So how can you get a hold of us? You can reach us at sales at m60rv.com. You can call us on the phone at 269-707-9220. Go to our website. There's a button that says chat with us. There's lots of ways to get a hold of us. So come to M60RV, Jones, Michigan, where we help you find the great outdoors for less. Thanks for watching. 468 foot-pounds of torque because feet and pounds can't, so it's, it's torque.